Hi, welcome to this second video on standard deviation. I am Piyush. Uh, we will try to understand the word standard deviation a bit better and uh, we will also introduce a new term, the coefficient of variation. Let's jump into the data. Now we have the data of four people, person one to person four and uh, they make uh, let's say uh, chairs on um, some random five days. So the person one makes 20 chairs every day. He is a very methodical, very process oriented person making exactly 20 chairs every day. The standard deviation for this person would of course be zero because there is absolutely no variation in the data. Now a second person makes 18 chairs on day 1, 19, then 20, then 21 and 22. I have tried to ensure that the mean is kept at 20. Um, the standard deviation for this person would obviously be something higher than 0. Um, so it's 1.58. Wonderful. So there's some variation in this data. Now, person 3 and person 4. Um, let's suppose person 3 makes 15 chairs, 18 chairs, 20 chairs, 22 chairs and 15 chairs. Um, I'm sorry, 25 chairs here. The mean would be 20. Uh, and there will be some value for standard deviation. This person makes 5 chairs, 15 chairs, 20 chairs, 25 chairs and 35 chairs on 5 random days. Um, even without calculating, just having a visual uh, look at the data, we find that the person 4 has more variation in the number of chairs made. So obviously the standard deviation for this person 4 should be higher and the standard deviation for person 3 should be lower than the person 4. Let's calculate. I'll copy the formula here and paste it. Perfect. So what we observe is that as the variation in data increases, the standard deviation increases. So the first principle is that standard deviation measures the variation and higher the standard deviation, higher would be the variation. Consistent data, data like the person 1 has zero standard deviation. When, when the standard deviation is low, that means the data is consistent. All right. Now let's look at a five different set of people. Now the five, the person one here makes 18 chairs on day one. Let's say 19 chairs on day two, uh, 20 and 21 and 22 chairs on day five. The standard deviation, as calculated above, would obviously be one point. 5, 8. Now let's create three new people. This person is lazy. Make one chair, two chairs, three chairs, four chairs, five chairs. The person three is a superwoman and uh, she makes 103 um, chairs, 104 chairs, 105 chairs, 106 chairs, and 107 chairs on any random day. The person four he is a super super man or a super super woman using some automated machine makes say 1200 chairs on day 1, 1201 chairs on day 2, 1202 chairs on day 3, 1203 chairs on day 3 and 1204 chairs on day 4. So, so what we see is moving from person 2 to person 3 they make more number of chairs there is some variation which is actually one unit uh, uh, on every day. Um, so when I copy this formula here, we see that the standard deviation of all these people is exactly the same. Okay. Now uh, this could be misleading, saying that the variation in the data is same because if I look at the mean equal to average of uh, the data points and copy this formula. What we understand here is that on a mean of 20, there is a variation of 1.5 chairs. On a mean of 3 chairs, there is a variation of 1.5 chairs. On a mean of 105 chairs, there is a variation of 1.58 chairs. And on a mean of 1202 chairs, there is a variation of 1.58 chairs. So if the standard deviation was looked at a, as a proportion of mean, it would give us a better idea into the variation. So that's what coefficient of variation is all about. So it is standard deviation as a proportion of mean. Control C and we copy the formula. So what this tells us is 
that for person 2, the standard deviation of the proportion of mean is more than 50%. But for person 4, the standard deviation is around 0.1%. Alright? So, this is trying to explain how um, to understand standard deviation and coefficient of variation. In the next video, we will understand using standard deviation to predict the data ranges and confidence intervals. Thank you for watching.